Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, yes. I am pleased today to have had the honor to submit to this Honorable House the annual report and audited financial statements of the Bermuda Anti-Doping Authority for the year ending 31st March 2019. Bermuda. The International Convention Against Doping in Sport of 2005 came into force in Bermuda in June 2006. This was managed locally by the Bermuda Council for Drug-Free Sport, a charity. The authority, as we know it today, was created by the Anti-Doping in Sport Act 2011. Its function is to facilitate the control and prevention of doping in sport and thereby enable our athletes to compete on the international stage in addition to providing sample collection services for many international sporting events that put on competitions locally, including the International Triathlon World Series 2018, Junior Cycling Championships, and the Bermuda Marathon, just to name a few, Mr. Speaker. This important work is done through a program of education, doping control procedures, and results management. This includes following the World Anti-Doping Agency standards to establish and implement comprehensive anti-doping rules which must adhere to, water, to the water code, international standards, and guidelines an extensive education program for athletes, athlete support personnel, administrators, participants, and the general public on anti-doping and the promotion of health, fairness, and equity in sport. Detailed protocols for results management and detailed protocols for therapeutic use exemptions. The authority continues to ensure all athletes are tested under the illicit policy a domestic program prior to representing our island either locally or internationally. Mr. Speaker, the Act also establishes a board of the authority who shall monitor the administrative operations of the authority and ensure that correct protocols are followed in the process of securing samples, ensure that the rights of everyone involved in the doping control procedures are respected and assist in ensuring that the authority receives and manages funds in a prudent manner. Mr. Speaker, Section 17 of the Act also requires the authority to present to the minister a report of its proceedings for the year, including the audited accounts, and for the minister to lay the same within the House of Assembly, which I did so today, Mr. Speaker. The Auditor General has signed off on the financial statements stating that they present a fair view of the authority, I would like to take this opportunity to highlight a number of items from the report and audited accounts. The authority continues to be fully compliant with the World Anti-Doping Agency requirements. Through their sample collections at the local sporting events and in partnership with other anti-doping organizations from around the world, the authority has been able to ensure the testing requirements of both local and overseas-based Bermudian athletes have been fulfilled. Their educational initiatives continue to be of paramount importance, including providing advice to athletes and co coaches on all aspects of the illicit and anti-doping programs. Mr. Speaker, under the performance enhancing program, some 83 samples were taken for testing during the year, a 73, sorry, 73 urine and blood samples. There were two adverse analytical findings, both of which related to the Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation's Night of Champions. <laughs> there were four positive results under the illicit drug policy where the substance in all four cases was THC, and that is coming from marijuana. The year saw an extensive compliance audit of the authority initiated by WADA, and the authority were pleased to receive a letter stating they were in compliance from WADA in November. Mr. Speaker, the authority's revenue for the financial year is $658,600, which is mainly made up of a grant of $650,000 from the Department of Youth, Sport, and Recreation. Expenses include some $271,590 for the performance enhancing, sorry, enhancement testing program and $133,407 for, for the illicit drug screening program. I would, I would 
like to thank the board under the chairmanship of Mr. Michael Smith and the staff of the agency under the leadership of the Chief Executive Officer, Ms. Deborah Hunter, for their dedication and hard work during the year. With that, Mr. Speaker, um, having laid this, um, the paper before the Honorable House, the Bermuda um, Anti and the Bermuda Anti-Doping Authority audited financial statements on the operations, um, I say thank you.